Hey guys, it's Travis Fluffy back with another video. Back with another video for you guys. <laughs> but to this video, I'll be making some cheap, budget friendly seafood boil, okay? Seafood boil in the oven. So if y'all want to see that, stay tuned. Also, <laughs> also, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notification on. So you can be notified every time a girl uploads a new video. Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays for show. Also, follow me on my social medias. Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, tickety tickety talk. Everything will be in the description down below. And also, if you want to donate to the channel, that will also be down below. Guys, cheap seafood boy. Can't get any better. Better. Can't get any better than this. Let's get straight into the video, baby. Lay out. All right, guys. So... This is everything that you're gonna need. Pretty simple. <laughs> you need some shrimp, of course. I got me some jumbo shrimp, and I already got them devanned, peeled, and everything. I just have the little piece on the tail, still attaching. But this is about 12 to 13 pieces of shrimp. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. You can use whatever shrimp you got. Let me show you the bag. Let me show you. I'm just using a raw jumbo shrimp. This is it. And I got some sausage. I'm just using two sausages. You can use more. If you're making for more people, you could definitely add in more sausage in there if you want to. I got me some corn. Woo! I ain't gonna take this up. I got me some corn, two corns, and a piece of potato. What do you call this potato? Russell potato? Something. So I got a piece of this. I boiled both of these for about 10 minutes. Because I like my corn to be extra soft. Because I'm not trying to break all my braces. <laughs> and my potato, I want it to be extra, make sure it's cooked completely. Soft and juicy. I didn't want it to be too tough. All right, guys. So for the seasoning, you need butter, of course. Butter, of course. I'm just using a little cheap butter right here. <laughs> you need some adobo. You need some complete seasoning. Okay, okay. Life is not complete. If you ain't got no complete seasoning, <laughs> I'm also gonna use some chili powder, and of course my Creole seasoning. I'm just using the original, original and my Saigon. Guys, make sure you use some aluminum foil paper if you don't have any. Just put it in something that could go in the um, oven. And that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna cut up my potatoes. I'm just gonna peel off, uh, peel off some of the skin. Guys, this is an old, uh, this is an old potato that I had in the uh, fridge. I decided to just utilize it. Let me zoom up in here. I decided to just use the little that I have. I'm just going to take off some of the skin off of this. So I just gave this four big, four big slices. You see that? Four big up, big up. Wash my hands. Damn, I should have used a bigger cutting board. <laughs> oh well, oh well. It's already too late. Anyways, if you guys, <laughs> if you guys like this cutting board set, I'm gonna leave the link down in the description. You can purchase. You saw you can purchase you one and the knife set as well turn this around real quick just gonna cut up my sausage and my sausage is kind of frozen that's also fine and move this out of the way All right, just make sure y'all can see that. Just gonna get my aluminum foil. Woo. I'm 
Okay, so I'm gonna just drop my potato, my corn up in here. Ooh, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hopefully y'all can see that. I got my corn down. I'm gonna put my sausage, all my sausages down. Put my potato. Y'all, this thing look good up, good up, good up. And I'm just gonna go with my shrimp. Just put this all over it. Spread it all out. Ooh. Damn, this thing might be too much. But jump. It's standing by my side. How could I be afraid? Oh, oh, oh. Alright, so I'm going to go with my Creole seasoning. I'm going to go with my adobo. Guys, I'm going to also put this on top of a, uh, a pan in the oven. And I'm going to go with my chili powder. Gives this thing a little bit of, just a little bit of heat. Not too much, you know. And I'm going to go with my complete seasoning. And one packet of save on this. How big is this packet? This is a 1.41 ounce. Oh, it's pretty small. Just gonna put the whole thing over it. Make sure you get it all over your shrimp for sure. Y'all, this thing is gonna taste so good. Woo! Ja! So now I'm just gonna add some butter. Hold on, let me rinse this off. Just gonna add some butter all over this. Guys, this is just a quick, simple, easy, definitely cheap <laughs> seafood boil, okay? Make sure y'all try this because y'all won't regret it. So now the hard part, Jano. <laughs> Hope y'all can close this because woo! This thing looked more than what I thought it was gonna be. But I and I, I and I got this. I'm gonna do my best. Let me see. Hold on, guys. Alright guys, so I just closed it up. Honestly, I didn't think I was gonna be able to close it, but this is as good as gonna get. So I'm gonna put it in the oven 350 for 25 minutes. Come my uh my um sausage and stuff is kind of still frozen. So I'm gonna do about 20-25 minutes in the oven. When I come back, guys, I'm gonna show y'all the finished product. I don't know set. It's gonna be bomb. Cause anything I put my finger upon, anything I put, <laughs> anything I put my hand on, don't know if that's gonna taste good. So I'll be right back, guys. Lego. All right, guys. So let's take a look inside. Ooh, so steamy. Woo. Ooh wee. Ooh wee 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 wee. Ooh, come on, steam, get away. There you go, guys. I accidentally left it in there a little too long. But this how it looks. Y'all, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment down below. 
And I'll catch you guys on the next video. That potato look good. You already know. I'm going to do a mukbang with this. Yay. Bye, guys. Much love.